All right, everybody, how you doing? Got a video for you today. Unboxing a mystery box. This is from my man, Kismet Collectibles. Check out his YouTube channel. Uh, I just got this knife today. It was $9. Nice cheap one. Uh, that's what I like. I know people might make fun of me. It's just some crappy knife, but uh, I don't like expensive knives because the way I use them and lose them, why would I buy an expensive one? So let's see what we got in here. Let's see what's in the old mystery box. Oh, might, might have got a little too deep on that one. <laughs> Sometimes that happens in the middle of the box. Understandable. All right, there's personal information all over this, so I had to open the box upside down. Uh, and I will get this out of the way. This seems to be overwhelmingly packed. Oh, I got a beautiful little post postcard, but I got to watch because it's Taking, there's some painter's tape on it. There we go. Okay. All right, he sent me his return address. And it seems he sent me a photo or a postcard. I can't see yet. Uh, as you can see, I can't see. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna take this apart. There's a ton of stuff in this box. It looks pretty packed. I don't know what's in here. He seemed to have wrote a note with everything. Indiana State Fair Midway. Oh, cool. Oh, this is a photo right from there. And it's got some people on there. And he wrote a nice little message on the back. I had, There's tape on it right now, so hold on. I'm just I'm making sure I take this off without damaging the photo. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, anyone who sends me notes or anything or uh, anything like that, I keep it in my filing cabinet. I always keep everything. So I'll put this return address thing aside because it doesn't matter. First off, I just wanted to thank you uh, for all the content. You got me back into Zippo's. And even though I am uh, somewhat new to your channel, you in the community have welcomed me and treated me with respect. Uh, happy to be a part of the Zippo Mafia. P.S. Each card I write is actually a photo. I picked uh, some cool ones to send. Hope you enjoy them. Kismet. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, and then this is the photo. This is one he took at the Indiana Midway Fair of the... Uh, cool arches i'm assuming that's the entrance and uh he has sent something special with everyone and guys if you if you look in this box like it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time to do all that and uh he's got a little something for everything uh i think he knows how my unboxing videos work so i don't think uh he put any personal information on any of them except that return address so from here on in i will be good to open all of these and read the notes i made an educated decision <laughs> and I'm gonna roll with it. Oh, cool. oh, cool! What are these? Okay, so this, it seems like there's gonna be a lot of this. So I actually keep the bubble wrap because I send a lot of packages, and I don't want anything, want stuff to break. County Com Government Productions Group. I don't know what that is. It looks like Maserati symbol or something. I'm not sure what that is. So it seems like I can have a lot of stuff here and this is gonna be a long video. So I gotta keep uh, putting them off to the side. I'm gonna to have to put the tape in a pile and all these off to the side. And look at that, there are some are in sandwich bags too. So perfect, I will have more, uh, I'll have more sandwich bags down here for sandwich bag related things. Okay, so now I gotta watch this. I don't want to rip the picture. Uh, that's why you use painter's tape. It's always very good. Uh, this, I didn't damage this. This got damaged in the thing. This appears to be, oh, I'm holding it wrong. There we go. This appears to be some sort of strip in downtown Indiana. Uh, visual aircrafts cards. The cards are new old stock from 1977. They were printed uh, for the Army as a visual training aid. Pretty cool history and printings could almost go on Zippos if you wanted to make an aircraft Zippo. Just thought they would uh, be neat to add in. All right, thanks. All right, another picture. I'm going to have to put that in between books and straighten that out. Uh, oh, this is the good thick, uh, like, freezer bag stuff. <laughs> this definitely is perfect for the thing. Okay, uh, luckily this box didn't get damaged. Uh, visual aircraft recognition. Okay, oh, so this is sealed. This has any... Okay, I'm not going to open it here then. I... I'm not a big fan of opening sealed things because <laughs> like, I like to keep it. And 1977, that's cool, man. Uh, I might make a separate video on that uh, down the road uh, because I 
the suspense is already killing me. I do want to open them. But this video is going to be extremely long if I open them and go through them all. So more cool stuff from Kismet. All right. Hold on. I got you. There's a process now. Tape in one pile. <laughs> bubble wrap in the next. Pictures on the other. There is a process. This is all taped up extremely well. Okay. And uh, like I said, some of the pictures did. Oh, that one just ripped. Some of the... Some of the pictures uh, did get a little ruined, but it's fine, because once they go on my photo album. Oh, what did that say? We'll never know. We'll never know. Okay. Oops. Damn it. I forgot that was the rip side. There we go. Okay. And what's this picture of? Oh, Cadillac Palace theater I have no idea where that is but it looks super cool abyss zippo i would like uh for this to be my custom uh raven on front faye valentine on back uh razor on side uh your logo on side kismet on top stippling on sides sounds awesome <laughs> can't wait <laughs> all right okay so this is the one describing what he wants and it is a new purple abyss oh perfect he didn't send it with the insert or any of the packaging perfect that will make it much easier to send back. It got a little squished in the box somehow. Not a big deal. Uh, the new boxes aren't mon worth money. And uh, for anyone wondering why I open this next package, I do not think they will ever be worth money. I think the cardboard boxes like these are the most hated in Zippo history and uh, will not be the ones ever to be worth money. Uh, I don't think anyone will ever be collecting these junk boxes. Uh, you know, and I don't blame them. Lord knows I won't. Uh, you know, I just wish they'd come back with cool boxes again. You know, make it make it worse sense. Okay, so he's putting stickers on here to peel off all the labels. <laughs> oh, antique silver plate. Oh, man, that's too bad that the label fucking peeled off. Because I would have loved to have that. I would have loved to have that label on there. But whatever. Just uh, anyone else who sends me things, don't put tape on the labels on the box if you can give me something. <laughs> because uh, I really want it. Okay, so this looks like, oh, state police, some sort of old police jail. Uh, birthday Zippo. Oh, okay, so this is his birthday Zippo. So this doesn't matter that the thing came off then. Uh, this is my birthday Zippo, March 1994. I would like the images nickel plated. I want uh, two. I want to believe on front, X-Files on back, and alien stilks, oh, I don't know what that says, on side, pencil on side, kismet on top, no stippling on this one, yes, this is just a plated one, we'll have to talk more about that, some things might not work, so let's see, oh, this is the one he did in the video, hinge is a little loose, oh, it's broken. Oh, no, no, just loose. Okay, yeah, I could fix that. Tighten her up. And that's where the thing came off. I told him not to worry about it. I have to completely buff this anyways. No sense. Like, no sense him doing it. I already had to do it. Uh, it would have just been redundant, right? Like, good for him to, you know, play around and see what's up. But uh, would have been not worth anything. Because I would have had to do, regardless of the job he did, I still would have had to buff it anyway. So that's why it just didn't really make sense. Oh, another Zippo fuel canister, sick. Uh, like everybody knows, I already lost my original one from all the way years go back in that video, so I don't know where that one is. Uh, now, I had to open my second one, and I didn't have, I didn't have that, so that's sweet. And uh, Zippo fuel canister. Since you used your gasket, I thought, uh, you could use another. Yeah, I sure could. Already lost. Oh, that's cool. Legends Corner? I don't know where that is. These all seem like older photos, too. Uh, I rent that. Okay, so I'll put this in the pile of pictures. Alright, now let's keep going. Like, that's cool he put pictures and everything, isn't it? That was interesting. No one's ever done that before. Uh, all right, so let's try not to ruin these pictures, obviously. You got to peel them off with nothing but the most delicate care. 
All right, uh, custom titanium lighter. This is an O-ring sealed pocket lighter uh, move made out of titanium. I buffed it to a high polish, then heated with a blowtorch until yellow gold, then dipped it in ferrochloride. It gives a crazy finish that is really cool. I have done it two knives and thought a lighter would be cool. Hope you like it, and I do. Let's see the picture on the front. Oh, some fairgrounds, win a toy. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he did this for me. He made it on his YouTube channel. So uh, if anyone hasn't seen that video, go check out his video. It is labeled as such. Comes with a spare wick. Sorry, comes with a spare wick and some O-rings. And then this is the job he did on it. Uh, you can see the different colors on the chrome and the titanium. I meant to say, there's purple and blue and gold and yellow and brown and uh, oh, I see a little bit of green. Sorry. Yeah, it's all over this thing. It looks really cool. This thing is really, okay, I don't think there's a flint in there. No, there's no flint in there, so I'm not gonna force it. Uh, but this thing actually feels really heavy. I just want to pull this out quick. Oh yeah, it comes out very nice, brass insert. Very cool. I will definitely get a use out of this. I will keep it in my bug out bag for a spare light because that is completely sealed. You can fill this with fluid, it'll never run out. So that is cool. All right, now let's check out the next. Okay, an iPhone. He sent me an iPhone. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't think there's an iPhone in there. I think he used the box. Oh, penguin. Picture of a penguin. Uh, let's see what the picture says. First, I just want to remove this tape safely. Uh, Nimrod Commander. This is a vintage Nimrod Commander. Uh, some idiot carved his name into it and it has a loose hinge. Uh, just thought you might like to mess with the same one. Let's see. Uh, now, at the best of my knowledge, I don't remember what a Nimrod Commander is. I've seen it. I know what it is. Oh, and it's not a cell phone box. <laughs> I don't know where I got that. I didn't actually read. Okay, but this little box, I could use it to send something back for somebody else. Okay, so this is a Nimrod Commander. Oh, cool style. Hinge is loose a little bit, barely. Uh, Mark, the idiot. <laughs> stretched it up. Yeah, all right. Okay, cool. All right, more, more things here. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, Tinder Tips. Tinder tips. Oh, these aren't Zippo made. It seems like water resistant threaded cord. I don't even know what these are. Uh, these are bright and reflective and have Tinder built into the cone of the cord. Uh, might be useful to put on outdoor gear. You know what? I have some zippers that don't even have any things on my pack sack. So I will put that on there. All right, and let's see what's next here. Oh, a picture of a shark. Uh, it did get, it did get a little ruined in the mail. Let me lay these pack in here. Let's see what he says on the back. Uh, chrome pipe insert, pretty simple. Uh, you said you needed one, so I got you one. All right, perfect, yes. There's the picture of the shark. A little trample though, like I said. Got a bunch of pictures here. Uh, let's see what the chrome insert looks like. I don't know what. L21. I don't know what makes this a chrome insert. It doesn't look chrome. And I don't know how it would have been. You can see the line is raised here. It seems to be. Seems to be made out of the good steel. I don't know though, it doesn't look chrome. The, you could see that it is though, I think, but uh, another another poor quality chromine, if that is chrome, I can't tell the difference between this and a, I can't tell the difference between this and a steel insert. I don't know, like I, when you, like, uh, when you look at the, when you look at the, like, that is steel that has been chromed. See the difference? See the difference? 
So I don't know. I There's something fishy about these inserts. I don't know. I'm not really sure I even like them. Because, I don't know, that seems poorly chromed, if anything. It seems like it's the th absolute thinnest layer of chrome I've ever seen. Same with the gold-plated ones. Uh, thinnest layer of gold I've ever seen. I know it's called gold flash, not gold plating, for that reason. Uh, but, like, you know, uh, I don't understand. So, here is the double torch butane insert uh, from this company, I guess. Uh, a lot of tape on this. And uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to have to just fly through this. I won't have the time to read these pictures now. Uh, oh, 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 here we go. Yeah, gotta love when that happens. Everything wants to fall down on you. Okay, so this is a soft flame and torch. You can see it in the picture here. Uh, like I said, I don't really have a need for it. Uh, I will, will use it though, I guess. and Try it out. Give it an honest review. Like I said, probably won't use it. And let's see what is last here, but not least. I don't know what this is. Uh, active blade holder. Okay, so this is like a titanium scalpel set or something, I guess. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, picture of the rodeo. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so that's the box, guys. That's everything. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off here quick. Uh, this video is running extremely long. Uh, thank you, Kismet Collectibles. Check out his channel. Go give it a look. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.